Good morning, everyone. Well, I'm sorry, guys, I was muted. Welcome once again to this class. Well, guys, today we're going to study a topic that is very interesting. I think that the topic will be really interesting to you because today we're going to talk about good memories. I know that we have good memories from the past, things that we really enjoyed when we were kids. We really enjoyed doing these different things because we, you know that we are... Uh, each of us we have different things we used to do different things we didn't do the same things so that is going to be the topic good memories and the skill that we will that we will be practicing today it's going to be writing okay so in previous lessons students we have been learning how to read listening so today we're going to work on writing and today for this class we have two different teachers we have teacher kevin sanchez and we also have angel sarabia Hello, good morning, dear students. Okay, so let's move on, on to the other slide. Okay, now here, guys, I am going to share with you the agenda so you can see all the contents that we are going to study during this lesson. First of all, we're going to start working on the objectives. I am going to share with you what are the objectives so that you have a better picture of what is going to be, what you will be able to do during during and after the lesson. Then we're going to work on the pre-writing, which includes the warm-up activity, also the brainstorming when you're where you're going to share some interesting activities. Also, we're going to work on the while writing, on the water writing, we're going to work on three different aspects that are very important. We're going to work on sentence starters, guided paragraph writing, and also we're going to work on peer rev review. And last but not least, we're going to move to the last part of our class, which is um, the post writing activity. So in this part, we will work on two different things. We will work on sharing and wrap up and also reflection. Those are the two things that we're going to cover in this uh, lesson. So let's move on, on to the other slide. Okay, now here, guys, you can see the two objectives. So for this uh, specific class, we have set two different objectives. The first, uh, it says at the end of this lesson, the students will be uh, the student will be able to number one identify and describe a happy memory from their childhood using simple past tense. So you will have to use simple past tense to talk about your uh, your childhood experience, but also to write some uh, example sentences. The other. Um, objective it's going to be write a short paragraph using simple past and used to sentences describing a happy memory from their childhood so as you see here guys we are going to be using two different um, topics we're going to use simple past and also used to now let's move on on to the other slide Okay, so now here we're going to start with the pre-writing, but before uh, we move on onto the other slide, we're going to work on the warm-up activity. So in this activity, we're going to do something very interesting. So I am going to share with you my screen. We're going to work on a world wall activity, and I am going to share with you a question like this. Would you rather, and I am going to give you two different options. These options are referred to the things that we used to do in the past when we were kids. So you will have the chance to select one of them i know that you have different opinions so please select the two all please okay so let's start with the warm-up okay guys so i hope that you are ready okay so the first thing is would you rather have rests twice a day or never have homework again angel in your case which one would you select a or b Mm, maybe letter B. <laughs> okay, Angel says letter B. Never, never have homework again. How about you, Risa? How does that know? Personally, I think it would be letter B too. Okay, excellent. That's good. Just remember that we have to select the two of them to continue. Okay, that's good, guys. Well, let's continue with the other one. So in this case, would you rather go to the zoo or go to the amusement park? Tell me, guys. Um, I will go to the zoo. Zoo. Well, that's interesting. The zoo, good. A zoo. I will go to the amusement park. To the amusement park. Great, excellent, great choices. Well, let's continue with the other one. Now here, would you rather play hide and seek or play talk with your friends? 
Mm, maybe Joe? try to play hide and seek. Hide and seek, good. So then, as I said, no? Personally, uh, play tag. Play tag, yes, that's also really interesting. I remember that I used to play that again. Good, good. Well, let's continue with the other one. Would you rather eat ice cream for every meal or have pizza every Friday night? And that's really interesting. Wow. Yeah, that's that's a hard one. I really enjoy eating ice cream, but pizza every Friday it sounds interesting. So I don't know. What about you, Azu? <laughs> Personally, I have this on my mind because I love pizza. So the correct answer for me will be have pizza every Friday night. Great, great I choice. I like yeah. ice cream. Then. <laughs> okay, nice, guys. Good. Let's move on, on to the other one. Okay. Okay, now in this one, would you rather be a character in your favorite cartoon or be a character in your favorite movie? Azucena, I will start with girls now. Azucena. Okay, uh, personally, I, I don't like movies like too much, so I think be a character in my favorite cartoon. Great, excellent. How about you, Angel? Yeah, in my case, the, the in character, I guess. Okay, be a character in a movie. Great. Okay, let's continue with the other one. Would you rather have the powers of your favorite superhero or be best friends with your favorite character? Yeah, you're gonna start, right? Uh, I think yeah, the, the letter A. Letter A. Yeah. Okay, have the powers. Great. How about you, Angel? Uh, maybe I would like to have like a best friend with my favorite character. Okay, that's also really interesting. Perfect. <laughs> okay, and yeah, actually, guys, this is going to be the last one. This is going to be the last one that we're going to wear because we're going to move on to the other part. Okay, okay. would you rather watch Saturday morning cartoons or stay up late? Uh, stay up late watching movies. I think yep. stay up late. Yeah, me too. <laughs> stay up late. Watching okay, movies. great. Well, in my case, it will be watch Saturday morning cartoons if I were a kid. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, and that is the last one. Remember that we're going to move on to the other part. Okay, now here I am going to ask you a quick question. Okay, you just need to answer one. Okay. So here we are in the pre-writing activity. In here, we are we are going to brainstorm some ideas. So what are some things you used to do when you were a kid? Azucena, please select only two, only two uh, things that you used to do when you were a kid. Only two. We, we have watch movies, go to the park, play with toys or dolls, play soccer, play tag, or eat candies. Tell me. I'm uh, going to the park and playing with dolls. Good, 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 good. Okay, you used to go to the park and you used to play with it. Uh, Okay, doll, uh, toys. That's great. Good. How about you, Angel? Well, I remember that I used to go to the park and ride a bicycle. Actually, hey, that's really interesting. We don't have a, a ride a ride a bicycle here, but that is also interesting. That's great because yeah. Angel, I want to congratulate you because you know that word. That's really nice. Perfect. Okay, so now that was the bra uh, the brainstorming. Now we're going to move on to the other slide. Now here it's going to be. A little bit interesting too because here guys you will have to design a map of the activities that you used to do when you were a kid okay listen to the instructions it says create a mind map of childhood activities so i am going to share a link with you here through the chat for you to start working on the activity and i will give you just two minutes okay so now I have shared with you the link. You have access to, to the activity. Please start working on the activity and you have only two minutes. I will give you when the time is over, please. So you can okay. start working on the activity, guys. Okay, perfect. Okay, remember that we have different games. Play hide and seek, run, Go to the park, watch movies, watch cartoons. So we have a variety of games. You can write these games here in the board.
how many do we need to add? Well, Angel, it is up to you. Remember that you have to manage. If you write out many of them, you can do it. There is no problem. The purpose, Angel, is to write. Remember okay. that the, the, the class is focused on writing. So you, the purpose is to write as much as you. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, one more minute. You have only one minute. Now it is less than one minute. Now you have a couple of seconds. Okay, don't forget that once you have finished, you have to post your answers. Here I can see some of them. Well, that's good. Angel says play hide and seek, running the park, and swimming the pool. Well, that's pretty nice. Perfect. Azucena, did you finish? Hey, that's pretty nice because you're drawing, right? Play with those. Hey, that's really interesting, guys. Thank you so much because in this activity, you are doing an excellent job and, do, and you are doing your best. Okay, now it's time to move on to the other part. Okay, thank you. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna be in charge of the second part of the class. Thank you, teacher Kevin. You did a really, really good job. So give him an applause. All right, and you can do so online as well with the app here. Okay, excellent. So today, uh teacher Kevin said, so we're gonna be learning how to write. So this is the second part of the class, and we are gonna be in the while learning section. So for this section, we're gonna start with sentence starters. So do you know what is a sentence start, guys? Do you have an idea what is a sentence starter? If you don't, if you have an idea, let's give me a thumbs up. If you don't have an idea, give me a thumbs down. Let's see, let's see. Okay, don't know. So we have like 50-50, all right? So let me tell you that the sentence started, as the name, as the name says, it's the start of sentence so i can give you some words some phrases for you to start a sentence so uh the teacher kevin said today we're gonna be learning two topics so the first one is gonna be the past tense so let's review the past tense it is used for completed actions in the past something that you done something that you have done in the past for example when i was younger i love playing outside so you see we have two verbs here in the simple past was and loved remember that the pronunciation of of the of the verbs in past is a little bit different so uh, on the previous classes we learned how to pronounce these type of verbs these type of words so an example of a sentence starter will be when i was little i and then you can uh, you can tell me what you did one day i remember that the second one the third one says the best day ever was when and then you have to tell me what you did on that specific day my favorite thing to do was and then you have to tell me something and the other sentence starter is we always went to so if you want to guys you can write them down or maybe one or two of them just we're gonna be using them in the future in the next part of this activity all right so this is the past tense do you have any questions about the past tense or you don't if yes you... teacher i have a question okay go ahead please can i can i use the simple past to talk about the future no that's a really really good question kevin i really appreciate it so in this case the if you want to talk about something in the future we have other verbs for example the auxiliary will or the verb that it's going to that's going to be for the future but for the past we need to use this type of verbs for example was were if we are using the to be verb and we have some regular verbs regular verbs are the one that end in ed but they have different type kind of pronunciation but yeah that's a really good question excellent thank you um all right so let's move to the second part which is the used to so the used to review asu can you please help me out to read this part please uh, it's used for it is used for 
used for habits or routines in the past? Yeah, it is used for habits or routines in the past. So it was, uh, uh, yeah, an error over here. Yeah, and the example that we have, Kevin, can you please help me out to read the, the example using sure. used to? Yeah, it says, I used to spend hours building sand castles with my friends. Thank you. All right, so the used to, it's a phrase that we use when we want to speak about something that we did in the past but the thing that you did it was something that you did on a daily basis like a habit like a routine something that you used to do for example when you were child when you were baby you used to cry all day long let's say or when i was a baby i used to sleep um i don't know maybe like 20 hours out of 24 so that's that's a good example so used to it's referred to that something that we used to do in the past as an as a habit or as a routine so we have some sentence starters as well for example i used to play with a toy i used to play with my friend all the time i used to another uh sentence starters is every summer we used to go uh, every winter we used to go or the last one says when i was a kid i used too and i wanted to pronounce it the right way guys because um even though this is the writing practice but you need to speak it or you need to say it the right way because it's not use it's used let's let's say it with me used used to so used 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 to all right because if you say use use is the verb that means that you are utilizing something and this is used used to used to all right good really good pronunciation all right so do you have any questions about the used to and remember this one has to be together you don't have to use just the word used and that's it no you need to use used to together all together all right uh questions or comments everything's clear all right excellent i'm glad to hear that now uh i already told you that you have to write write it down the sentence starters all right now i want you to create your own centers sentences describing your happy memory using sentence starters that you learn so here in the in this slide i want you to write down just one one sentence using use two and you can combine with uh with any verb in the past in the simple past so you can use one of the starters that we just shared before or if you want to use another one you can go ahead and do so all right i will give you one minute because this is easy so you can write any sentence that you have so let's see if you are how you are doing it so kev is in progress and what about you Azu? I want you to can you, can you share the link again, please? Sure, sure, no problem. I can do so here. Give me a quick second. I will share it in the chat and you can join. All right, I think that you're going excellent kev um can you please help me out to read your sentences please yeah sure it says when i was a kid i used to eat a lot of candies the second sentence says when i was a kid i used to play with cars excellent you did a really really good job all right and now let's see if we have the one for azu all right she is writing all right we can read that one all right asu can you please read your sentence asu. it says uh when i was a kid i used to play with dolls all right excellent really good job you guys are awesome you are very very smart 
Now let's move to the next part. So now that you know how to write uh, or how to use the sentence starters, I want you to write a paragraph. I know that it's gonna be a little bit difficult, but it doesn't have to be like a huge paragraph. I want you to write a small paragraph using three sentences. Uh, actually, it's gonna be five sentences, my bad. So one is gonna be for the first part, which is gonna be like the introduction. Three sentences are gonna be to describe something that you used to do when you were a child or when you were a kid. And the last one is going to be like a conclusion. So these are pretty much the three parts that a paragraph has. So the introduction. So the way that you want to talk about the, um, the topic, let's say. The second part is going to be the, the three sentences and the conclusion. So here I have an example. I want to, well, I will ask you to, some of you to read it, but I will do so. So check here and then you have four minutes for you to create your own paragraph so it says the title it's summer fun at grandma's when i was younger i used to spend every summer at my grandma's house that's the first one that's the introduction all right so you see that's number one the second says we lived near the beach and every day we used to build sand castles and swim in the ocean one afternoon we found a bunch of colorful seashells we built the most amazing sand castle ever decorated with all the shells and the conclusion it was such a fun day and it makes me miss those summers with grandma so you see do you think it it is really really difficult all right it's it's a little bit easy you guys are really really smart guys and i know that you will do something perfect so remember it has to be five sentences. The first one is going to be the introduction. Three sentences telling me what you used to do uh, when you were a kid. And the last one is going to be the conclusion. So remember, it's going to be something easy, something that you used to do. Remember that you need to use, um, use two and also some verbs in the past. Um, do you have a question or do you have comments? No. Now it's going to be your turn. I'm going to give you five minutes, actually for well, five minutes. I will give you five minutes to write a short paragraph, all right? So, and uh, as I mentioned before, let me read the instructions again. So you have five minutes to write a short paragraph about the childhood memory. Use simple past and use two sentences. And remember, you need to include the introduction, the body, which has three sentences, and a conclusion, all right? So you have now five minutes starting right now. All right. So let's start. Can you send the link, please? Okay. I can send the link. Not a problem. All right. Here's the link. You can check it in the chat. Questions? Do you have questions or comments? Is it easy, right? It's something that you guys are able to do quickly. And I'm pretty sure that you won't spend the five minutes. You will spend less than that. So is one minute has passed already. Wow. And remember, if you have questions, if you have comments, this is the time for you to do so. All right. And if you don't know how to write one word, remember that you can go ahead and ask me how to do so. And it's going to be something easy for you when you were a child, what you used to do or something like that. So let's go ahead and do so. So three, three and a half more minutes, three and a half more minutes. right i know that you are writing right now let's let me check a little bit what you are doing okay good so you're writing a lot i like it i like it 
and the chicken is also right in really really good awesome you guys are excellent right in so we have two more minutes two more minutes and that's gonna be it so in the meantime i can tell you one story uh, let's say when i when i was a kid i used to go with my parents to the countryside and we used to spend the whole afternoon in that place it was really really good um we used to play as well with my friends and yeah we spent a really really good time over there and it was funny it was quite interesting okay excellent we have one more minute guys one more minute and you are doing it really really good so if you finish before this one more minute um you can let me know if not or if you need more time i can give you like one extra minute but we can do so let's see let's see let's see so we have one more minute left one more minute left if you have a question if you have a comment let me know because we're doing it awesome let me check okay good 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 uh, so it's Ryan and Kevin oh have you finished Kevin yes I did it okay good awesome awesome perfect at this moment then what about you oh you have finished, finished, finished. all right yeah. awesome let's let's do something um can, can you please read yours yeah sure it says when i was a kid oh, there I'm, were I'm, a sorry interrupt you. I'm sorry but before you read Azu, i want you to please um i don't know if you want to take a screenshot you can do so because i wanted to get an image from that paragraph okay and then kev i mean and then as a, when, when you read yours kev i wanted to take a screenshot of her paragraph okay because we will we will we will use that screenshot for the next activity all right now sorry now it's your turn kev sorry Sure, perfect. Well, I don't know why there is an extra paragraph at the beginning, so I wanted to modify, but I think that I don't know what, what's going on, but yes, I can read it. So it says, when I was a kid, there were a variety of different activities that I used to love doing, such as playing hide and seek with my friends and reading candies, but overall, I used to go to the store to buy candies. To sum up, our childhood is an amazing experience that we will um, never forget as we have many things to remember all right awesome excellent really really good job all right perfect now let's check yours as can you please read yours yes 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 i can uh it says when i was a child i used to visit a uh, local library every saturday i used to spend our reading after that i used to buy some ice cream and in the afternoon i used to write my bicycle with my golf sims and we had a really good time with my family all right excellent really good job so give them an applause to all of you guys so you all did a really really good job awesome perfect now you did a really good job so you used the sentence starters you use uh, the combination of the word used to, and also you used a lot of verbs in the past. All right, now let's move to the next part of the activity. So this is gonna be the second part of the activity. We are gonna do like a peer review, all right? In this part, that's why I told you that you need to take a screenshot of the of your of your friend's paragraph now it's going to be the time for you to check i wanted to select 
these three uh, or to read these three questions and you have to tell me if that person complies with that answer with that with the question i'm sorry for example did they use past tense correctly yes or no you have to put it there in the near palm the second question says did they use use to for a habit yes or no and the third question says does the paragraph make sense Yes, no. I will give you a couple of minutes. All right, sure, sure. Let me give you two minutes for you to read your friend's paragraph. And then you have to do so over there. So you have the option to select and you can do so right here for example if you think that yes you can put like a jazz over here if you think that no you can play you can mark over here if you want to delete there is the eraser you can delete everything on it all right and because this is the the, the writing part you have to write, but also you can speak as well. So once you finish, let me know. We have we have enough time. We have enough time. And because we have enough time, I want you to do something. I want you to tell me how many times your friend, sorry, in the paragraph used um, the verb in the past how many times or what are the verbs that, that he or she used? And also how many times uh, did you use used to, all right? So besides tell me yes or no, you have to put over here, what are the verbs that he or she used? For example, if Kevin used the verb, um, I don't know, maybe the verb went, you have to put it over here went and uh, danced let's say right and how many times he used the verb used to you can draw it or you can put it four times three times or you can add text all right so i am going to give you two minutes for you to review your friend's paragraph or if you if you're done let me know please Let me know. Let's check. Let's check. And it's in process. Uh, so it's in process. Okay, good. Now I want you to tell me what are the verbs that the other person used in the past and how many times he or she used the composition used to, the phrase used to. Okay. And once you're ready, let me know, please. Remember that today we are talking about childhood memories. So all the things that you remember when you were a child, uh, did you play something? Did you watch certain cartoons or certain type of movies? Um, yeah, we're learning. Uh, we are remembering that or recalling that let's say so uh, who is ready let's see i think that yeah kev is writing something here uh, so it's also putting something over here all right awesome you're doing really really good okay so one more minute guys one more minute and we are almost done. Okay, I'm going to delete the one that I did. And all right, 
So the time is up. Who wants to go first? Kev or Azu? Well, ladies first. Yes, ladies first. <laughs> so Azu, go ahead, please. Can you read the question and tell me your the answer? Yeah. Uh, did they use past tense correctly? I think yes. And I, I noticed like three verbs. They they use did they use used to for a habit? Yes. Uh, he used it two times. And does the paragraph make sense? I think that the paragraph makes the total sense. All as right. Well structured. Awesome. Perfect. Really, really good. Thank you. So give it an, uh, an applause to Kev and also to you as well. Now let's move to Kev. Can you read the question and also the answer, please? Sure, yeah, I can do it. Well, uh, here is the pre-review. So yeah, did they use past tense correctly? Yes, absolutely, she did it. Did they use used to for habit? Yes, she did it. In, in more than one occasion, she did it. Does the paragraph make sense? It, yes, it made sense as she described her childhood experiences. So yes, that was totally correct. So I can say here, I, uh, I added some additional um, comments. Uh, let's say used to was used in five different times. So you use the correct structure. That was really nice, Susanna, because I think that as students, we are putting into practice our knowledge in a good way. In the second sentence, in the second uh, comment says, a simple past was used in two different occasions at the beginning and also at the end. So yes, I think that in this class with teacher Angel, we have learned a lot. All right, awesome, thank you, appreciate it. Really good job, Cam, and also really good job, Azu. You did really, really good. So we are pretty much at the end of this class. We are just, let's say, seven minutes left, and we are in the post writing, the final part of this activity. Now we're going to switch to teacher Kevin, and he is going to tell us what it's going to be the first part of the post writing all right well Go guys uh, i just have a question to you are you enjoying the lesson yes we are Azu. yes i am okay that's good to hear that's good to hear that you are enjoying the lesson and that you are not bored okay guys so now what we're going to do is the same remember that the class is focused on writing so basically all the activities that we had they are just writing remember that in english we had four macro skills and we have worked in most of the macro skills we have worked on reading listening and now it's the time of writing so so now remember that writing is very important probably you might say teacher no for me writing is not important for me what is important is speaking no in english the four macro skills are very important and i consider that at any language the macro skills are very important okay so now we will move on as angel said to the post activity and in this part we're going to do something very interesting too because you have to write so here you will have to write a reflection <clears throat> so here you have um you have to answer this question i will give you uh, a couple of minutes then you have to answer your uh, you have to read what you have written so the question says why is it important to remember um childhood memories that is pretty much the question that you have to answer now through the chat guys i will share with you the link let me know if you have access to the link if you can access the the activity if not i will look for some um for some other activities that we can do but please let me know did you get the link yes thank you <clears throat> okay nice excellent also i just want to make sure did you get it can you okay you, yes you want you want to uh, yes i can do it there is no problem just just allow me a couple of seconds i will do it again yep. there you have it there you have it okay now please confirm if you are able to access the website if not i will look for something yes uh, I yes perfect okay remember try to be creative in your sentence as in the in the other part, we were very creative, so we have to do the same here. Write as much as you can. From now on, guys, you have 
four minutes, okay? I will give you four minutes for this part, and then you have to read what you have written, okay? Remember, try to write, try to write. Don't forget that if at any point you have any question or doubt, you don't know how to write a word, or probably you have remember or you had forgotten how to do something, please don't hesitate to let me know. As my purpose here is to help you a lot, okay? That is my goal. I want you to learn a lot. I want you to learn how to write because in the future, you will probably, you will work probably in your job, you're going to, you have to write something in English. So that is going to be very important. So that remember writing, it's very important. So you have to learn it in the class. Okay, let's see. Well, guys, you are doing an excellent job here. I have access to what you are read, what you are writing, and I can see that you are learning a lot, guys. You are learning a lot in the lesson, and also I can see that you are very engaging in the lesson. While you are writing, I will give you some recap of the two topics that we have studied today. Remember that here in the class, we have learned two different topics. We have learned simple past, and also we have learned the other topic, which is used to. Remember that we use simple past to talk about the things that we did in the past, okay? Remember, we don't use simple past to talk about today, tomorrow, no. We use simple past to talk about yesterday, the things that we did in the past. And now we re remember that we use the other topic which is used to to talk about their routines remember that in the present now we have some routines but in the past we used to have some routines so how can we uh say how can we tell the routines that we had in the past that is simple and easy we can use the topic used to to talk about the things that we used to love doing when we were kids okay so well i can see that you are doing an excellent job because you are posting your answers and i can see that wow you have learned a lot now just i will just make this bigger because i'm not able to see well guys so i will give me a couple of seconds i will make this bigger for me to see what you have written okay first of all um i am going to read first listen to how i do it because you will have to do it again okay so angel says it's it's very important to remember happy memories because when you do when you do so you feel motivated hey that's good just some feedback angel remember that this is something that is going to help you a lot for uh, remember that this is very important as i said uh, because when you are writing it is considered as informal to use contraptions so please don't use contraptions that is informal okay but that is a tip that i can give you but that's good yes angel please do me a favor and can you read your sentence Sure, absolutely. And thank you so much, teacher, for the feedback. Appreciate it. So uh, it's going to be, it is very important to remember happy memories because when you do so, you feel motivated. Great, great job. Excellent. I think that you are learning a lot here in the class because I have noticed that in each class you participate a lot. Yes, that's great. That's the way, Angel. Yeah. So now, well, let's continue with Agriselda. Uh, now I'm going to read your part, Agriselda. Pay attention to how I do it because later on you will have to do the same. Okay, so it says, I think that it is important to remember it's important to remember the good memories that happened in our past because when you, let me see, when you remember, you feel like you are there for a moment. Actually, I think this is to, to this is a good memory. This is, this is to talk about with someone else about our childhood memories. That's great. Now, Susanna, please do me a favor and read yours. I think that it's important to remember the good memories that happen in our past because when you remember, you feel like you are there in a the moment again. Actually, I think it is good to talk with someone else about our childhood memories. Great, great stuff. Also, that's really nice because you have learned a lot in the class too. That's really amazing, guys. You have done an excellent job here in this, in this class. I want to congratulate you for always doing your best. Remember that that is our goal, right? We are learning English, so we have to do our best at any activity that we do. Now, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for having joined this lesson. 
I really enjoy uh, spending time with you. I hope that you have learned a lot during this lesson. Now let's listen to Angel. Thank you, teacher Kevin, and I appreciate it. So it's time to say goodbye. I just want to ask you, what did you learn today? I want you to share your ideas about what you just learned in this class today. Uh, let's start with you, Azuzena. Ladies first. Uh, we uh, learn well, personally learn about synthesis starters and the uh, correct verb of the past in the EUS tool. And to, to talk about my childhood memories. It was so good to, to learn something new. All right, perfect. Awesome. Thank you. And congratulations. You did a really good job. And what about you, Kevin? What did well, you learn today? I will be I will be really honest. I have learned a lot in the class. I learned how to use simple past. I learned how I learned how to use used to. I didn't remember. Uh, I didn't know when to use one of them. It was a little bit confusing for me in the past. But now after this class, everything is clear to me, and I know how to use them the topics perfectly. Thank you so much, teacher. Oh, you're welcome. It was my pleasure, and thank you. Because if we are, if you are a really good student. I mean, we are really good teachers as well. So it's like win win situation. You learn, both learn. So thank you so much for that, guys. And thank that's you. it for today. And thank you for your attendance. So we're going to be here next time. So have a nice day and bye for now. Bye.